You know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? Forget that bald eagle. The national emblem of this country ought to be Uncle Sam standing naked at attention, saluting, and seated on a chair next to him, the Statue of Liberty jerking him off. <laughs> That would be a good symbol for the United Strokes of America. Emblem. Do you know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? An emblem is a symbol, logo, or picture. The difference is that emblems represent a concept or idea and are usually used for countries. For example, this emblem represents freedom. Ought to. Do you know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? Ought to has the same meaning as should. This word was more popular a hundred years ago, and now is used as a more formal version of should. For example, Do you think I ought to go to school? Uncle Sam. The national emblem of this country ought to be Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam is one of the mascots for the USA. He was used in posters to recruit soldiers. For example, Uncle Sam needs you to help your country. Stroke. That would be a good symbol for the United Strokes of America. A stroke is a type of movement with your hand, usually when using a long object, like a pen. For example, his pen strokes were smooth and his writing looked very nice. In this joke, George Carlin uses the vulgar slang version of stroke, which means the movement a hand makes when masturbating. You know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? Forget that bald eagle. The national emblem of this country ought to be Uncle Sam standing naked at attention, saluting, and seated on a chair next to him, the Statue of Liberty jerking him off. <laughs> that would be a good symbol for the United Strokes of America. Thanks for watching. Write your questions, or try making your own example sentences with these phrases in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Let's laugh and learn English through comedy.